I've read so many stories over the past few years about rocket scientists, high level rocket scientists who are so much into this parapsychology. There's probably a good reason for that. And that is if you are in a very highly technical field, you tend to live your life with two aspects. One, you have to have an open mind because if you're doing research, if you're doing things that are kind of on the leading edge, you can't be close-minded or you'll never do anything more than what's already been done. And as things come to your attention, you don't tend to say, well, that sounds like nonsense. You tend to say, hmm, where are the facts? You know, so you're, right. you're open and because you're inquisitive or you wouldn't be in that field, you have to have an inquisitive mind to be there. You start looking for the facts. Let's, uh, let's see what's there. So that's a mind that's inquiring, a mind that's open, a mind that uh, is looking for facts, answers. Mm -hmm. Well, the crazy thing about physics and consciousness is it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, there's no path to consciousness from dead matter. There is a path from consciousness to physics.